building facade compliance is important ever since that terrible tragedy we saw in Grenfell at the end of last year. Uh, working in the building services industry, we've received many more queries about the compliance of their building from building managers, either from the owners, from their duty of care point of view, uh, or from um, uh, the tenants, requests from the tenants, and also from insurance uh, queries. So what, what are ACPs? ACPs are basically an acronym for Aluminium Composite Panels. So basically two layers of aluminium which is uh, sandwiching a core material. Uh, the core material is usually a polyethylene or PE with some form of mineral filler or in some cases no filler at all. There are three types gen in general uh, of ACPs in the market. Ones which are 100% PE or class 3s as we call them. Class 2s which are no more than 30% PE and then the better performing product which is no more than 7% or class 1s as we call them. ACPs um, are combustible to some degree because of the PE and because aluminium is so thin, heat can transfer through to the core quite easily and once that happens, the binding fails, the core gets exposed and it catches a light. The testing process for the ACPs is really to review the documentation you've got on those initially and then to conduct sample testing if you're unsure about any of that documentation. Now that consists of taking core samples of the panelling and sending that to a reputable lab, we use CSIRO, for them to do testing on the components in that panelling and particularly the, the polyethylene and how what percentage of fire retardant is in that. In terms of uh, code recon for facade, the building code looks at it as part of an external wall system. So that could be the insulation itself, the supports, uh, the actual cladding on the outside of the building and right down to the internal face of the external wall. So all of that forms part of an external wall system. And as far as requirements are concerned, it's very important that each individual component is non-combustible. For more information, visit qed.com.au.